हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी फोर यू नो ऑलरेडी थर्टी थ्री लेक्चर्स कवर हुई चीज सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एम आर एस बुक यू नो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक फॉर फिजिक्स बी एस सी ऑनर्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स ऑनर्स एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आई एग्जाम एग्जामिनेशन दैट्स वाई वी डिसाइड टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक इन दिस वीडियो यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दी सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम फोर पॉइंट वन जीरो थ्री टू फोर पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर फोर which consists gradient divergence and curl go to the question directly 4.103 says so that this is a rotate e rotational vector okay so for e rotational you need to find out the curl of this vector so curl of e is the curl of e means 1 by r square into r vector so this is like a phi r you know cos curl of phi a is nothing but grad phi cross a plus phi curl of a so if we put this uh, identities so grad of 1 by r square cross <coughs> r vector plus phi that is 1 by r square curl of r so this is nothing but the derivative minus 2 by r q with r cap r cap means r vector by r cross r plus 1 by r square curl of r is nothing but zero you know curl r cross r is also zero so this is zero that's means so e is e rotational since curl is zero so this is e e rotational e rotational okay then find uh, e equal to minus grad phi where phi okay so you know curl of grad phi is zero so we can take e is a Minus grad phi minus notation, nothing else. So e is minus grad phi. That's mean e is the nothing but the uh, r vector by r. R vector is nothing but i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z. And r is nothing but r square is x square plus y square plus z square. And minus grad phi means minus i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y. Plus k cap del phi del z. So if we compare in the both side, you get del phi del x is nothing but minus minus x by x square. So x by x square plus y square plus z square. So you get phi x of x x. So uh, integrate this minus x dx by x square plus y square plus z square. Take this as r square. X square plus y square plus j square is the r square. So we can say x dx is r dr. So this is nothing but minus r dr by r square. So this is nothing but dr by r. So this is nothing but ln r. You can say ln c. So phi x can be written as ln c by r. Similarly, in the same process, you can get del phi del y is nothing but minus y by x square plus y square plus z square and this is you also get the phi y is uh, in the same process you can see this is that c1 c2 c3 and phi z also ln r y c so these are the same so phi can be written as ln r y c okay and there is a initial condition phi a equals to 0 if we put phi a uh, is 0 so 0 is ln a by c so you can say a by c is, is zero is which is one so c is nothing but a so if we put this value phi is ln r by a this is the solution of this question go to the next question suppose a and b are e rotational if a and b are e rotational you can say curl of a zero curl of b zero since they are e rotational now we need to prove the a cross b is solenoidal solenoidal means we need to find out the divergence of a cross b if you know the if you know the identity of this divergence this is if you know the identity of this uh, divergence of a cross b is nothing but b dot curl of a b dot curl of a minus a dot curl of b okay 
so if we put this to value this is 0 and this is 0 so since this is a 0 so a cross b is solenoidal solenoidal this is nothing but this is solenoidal go to the next question suppose f of r differential prove that this is a e rotational so you need to find the cross of this function okay so you know curl of curl of phi a is nothing but grad phi cross a plus phi curl of a so this is nothing but grad phi phi is f of r uh, cross a a means r plus phi that is f of r curl of r okay and you know this is the for simply derivative f prime r and r vector r cap that is r vector by r cross r plus f of r curl of r you know this is zero and since r cross r also zero so this will become zero so curl of r is zero this proof is given in the previous lecture and this uh, differential of f of r nothing but the f prime r with a r cap this two proof is given in the previous lecture you go to the description word to get the uh previous lecture link okay since this is a zero so we can say f of r r vector is e rotational okay hence proved thank you this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram for use query physics related query and this is my youtube channel details you can go through the channel you can get all the videos and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon and share this video to your friends so that he or she also benefit with this video thank you we will meet in the next video take care